Hello friends, this is Abril. I am coming here today um, to show you my craft, my bedroom slash craft room. Uh, I went ahead and uh, started purging, reorganizing for a challenge that Kateri um, hosted a number of months ago, uh, probably in the summer I think. But I hadn't finished until now. I mean, I have a few things in a basket that I still need to sort through. But now I'm, I'm um, going to go ahead and show you the, the after. And this is for uh, Show Me Your Craft Room challenge that um, Colette from Country Creations uh, Facebook group is hosting. And she's wanting us to show our craft room. And then three ways of how we store things. So let's go ahead and start. My craft stuff is in my bedroom and I had a whole bunch of stuff in my um, closet and I decided to take it all out of my closet and put it all in my bedroom. So let's see how long it stays like that. But let me go ahead and show you. As you come into my room, I have this sign hanging on my doorknob that it's a like an organizer that I was gifted my two years ago uh, for a birthday challenge. But then after that, um, of course, you see my bed. And then here is that uh, dresser and then the little three cubbies as a separate part. And then that, that like uh, three, I don't know what it's called. Uh, it has a name and I can't think of it. Um, like hutch thingy uh, was a separate part that I bought like on the Facebook market for like $10 but that bottom piece is from the Goodwill and then that other piece is from a dresser set that we uh, we had and if you could see let me go ahead and I'm trying not to shake too much but um here we have uh, my daughter, she's 29 now, when she was a baby, and uh, that banner was created for me in a swap. But um, one of the ways that I store things is my thread, and let me show you. I have them in these kind of uh, glass containers. You see them over here. That's uh, storage number one that was given to me in a swap also. And then my washi, little decorative pieces I have to finish. Dress form I have to finish, I have to finish. Here's the other thread. And then like uh, that, oh, what is that called, twine? And then DMs, the floss. And then I have buttons in those jars. And uh, I also have buttons here, and buttons here. Um, now, uh, in here I have like, in there I have ribbons, all my beads. And uh, over here I have like all my coloring books and like packaging stuff. Okay, so then we turn around here. On the side of the door, see the door? I have this unit. And I got that, oh my dad got it because I couldn't carry it. Um, it was on the side of a dumpster at a Circle K store and it was like their display for candies and such. So I use it for, like that's all my scrapbook and all miscellaneous sort of paper. And the blue and black is more paper and chipboard like, uh, journal thingies and one two three are our napkins and things like that paper stuff mainly um, and then this is how I store my napkins in these uh, what do you call these like shoe box from the dollar from the Dollar Tree and these are all miscellaneous. These are like spring. 
these are more spring and spring like flowery butterfly these are miscellaneous these are valentine's easter sorry i'm pointing in the wrong place and this is thanks um yeah thanksgiving and halloween and this is all christmas so let me show you this is my storage oops one of them flew out number two is the way i store my napkins and then i just stick it back there this card right here is my what you might call that my die cut stuff that's my my of course my big kick and then these these two bins are dice and then those are more dice and then my little sysic sidekick right there and um, here are just a whole bunch of miscellaneous bins like mixed media stuff I have in there um, but this cart stores all my like holiday stuff Christmas Halloween stuff I use for that kind of holiday crafting Valentine's Halloween Um, and then these are a whole bunch of chipboard stuff. The back over there is sequins, and oh, I have no idea. I have so much stuff. And then behind the door, I just have this hanging thing, and uh, this was um, hanging on a chair I had in my room, but I went ahead and changed it. Okay. Um, here to the left, as you come into my room, I have these two cards and um, cubies from Michaels and my those two cards have like fabric and doilies and um, yeah fabric and doily stuff and then that those are my collection of paper pads the 12 by 12s and then the all that stuff on top is just like little decorative knickknacks my those teal thingies are gonna be a project that I haven't finished yet of course um, and uh, this is how I store my fabric. Um, I have, well, th this like one, two, three, four drawers are all rosy, rosa color, rosy kits and stuff. But they're all fabric and fabric. And down here I have stuff that, etc., stuff I need to be mail. Um, that ottoman has like um, boxes and stuff to use for backing um, some fabric I have then over here oh and then here's here's my desk uh, with my TV for now until I buy the wall mount and see it's next to that and there's my Christmas tree and my salt lamp and then here is the iris case no wheels because the wheels broke off of it but this is where all my loose um 12 by 12, oh, all kinds of actually 12 by 12 six places but all the loose ones that don't have paper pads paper so that's all full of paper right there and then that's also paper uh, but it's like um like the doilies i keep here Let's see the scraps and then like more scraps and such. Um, in this bin, I keep all the flowers that I have. Oh, I forgot I need to take off that label. And then those are two of those um, picture cases, and I keep my what should I call them? Like die cut ephemera stuff. And then these are all the rosy posy kits that I have not completed. And then this is just all kits from tonic on um, paper, more paper. Um, and over here is my uh, a 
metal bookcase and then this cubby thingy the metal bookcase i found on the marketplace this cubby thingy my daughter brought from her hair salon so i got that for free but um it has all sorts of stuff in there i have my what do you call this tool envelopes uh, journal pads um, all sorts of goodies um, and then this is how i store my ribbon and then i was creating these um paper bobbins i've created several like all of these right here have them up there but like you see the christmas except for the halloween i already did but all of these i still need to make then like yarn and stuff but um yeah this is how i store my ribbon and these are just uh, refrigerator bins from the Dollar Tree. As you can see, I buy a whole bunch of my storage organization at the Dollar Tree. Over here is just my window to the backyard. But here, you have my printer. You have my, what do you call that? Paper cutter. And then all the paper for printing. And that's just a charging station, that a black thing. And then my folders for my documents. Um, that Mary is a box I received from a swap and I need to do a video on it. Uh, that is the box for the cutter, but I have it filled with Christmas crafts. Down there on, underneath my desk is my glue stuff. And this is my desk. And I'm sorry this video is turning out to be long, but there's a whole bunch of stuff to show. That shelf with the unicorn stuff is all like stuff I got for my birthday two uh, years ago. And I just put it there. That's the shelf that fell. I have a video that, oh my god, my shelf fell off the wall. But now it's nailed to the studs. Um, they're uneven because now I have to move the other two shelves on the studs. But uh, I haven't done that. But that is my desk. I changed the paper. I changed the covering on my desk often. I changed the paper this time to be um, gold and Christmassy to match my bed for Christmas and uh, that box is a box um, that I made um, I sold selling uh, you know those cubies I built them on a live and I still need to cover them with paper those boxes too um, that's something Sweet Madison made and I uh, won the bid but that's where I hang all my scissors. And uh, that or that other black box over there is also something I'm making to sell. Um, hopefully somebody will like it enough to buy it. Um, but um, then over there we have my wall of just little cute signs and stuff and puzzles I have built. And then that's my calendar. And that's my tripod. And there's my trash can. How lovely. Um, but um, coming around this way, you have my unicorn. I used that for my birthday, not this year, but the past year. And um, my that pegboard is just full of stuff that I've swapped or they've I've won or I've been gifted tassels and such. Um, and then here on, on those white bins, I have stamps and I have no idea. Oh, mixed media stuff like, uh, uh, distress inks and stuff like that. Um, here I have my binders and my sequins glitters or well, what I have there I have more those are boxes I need to make and finish so that I could sell those too and um, here those white hang hook thingies are from the Dollar Tree those buckets are from Party City and I saw all my markers and pens in that and over here those those are from the Target dollar section the buckets and then I have like all my color pencils and like just 
regular kind of pens, colored pens. And um, the, let me show you, these are uh, stamps, like the smaller stamps. And then these two binders right here are my stencils. And this is how I store my stencils. So um, I just have regular dividers and then I put a cardstock so it's not too flimsy. And these are all like my what, Dollar Tree and Walmart and la di da, -da. Stuff like that. And this is my bed. And these are like all my dilutions and tampons. Stuff like that. And I love stencils. I love mixed media. I haven't played with mixed media in a long time, so I'm about to. Let me show you this. These are like little stamps. And they're the they're like the page dividers and they're just index cards in the back and I have what it is. So yeah. Not too bad. I'm getting there. I mean I still I still have stuff that I need to look through and organize, but these are my other stamps. This one doesn't fit. Those, are, those two are new, but this is how I store my stamps. They're just in a, one of these little uh, like plastic bins from Walmart. And then I just use those mini dividers. And uh, I keep the packaging so I could know where it's from. And I sort of have them sorted to like types. Not, I mean, it's not perfect, but it is what it is. And I use the same idea for my stickers. Let's see if we could get in here. Uh, I use the plastic bins, but those are from the Dollar Tree, and then I just have them in their original pack for the packaging for the most part, and I have them uh, contained. And like I say, this is my mixed media stuff. This is all mixed media. And all the miscellaneous stuff you use. And then more mixed media. And then these bins are full of stuff. Stuff. Like mixed media sprays and stuff. And so are these. The ones on the bottom. So there you have it. Uh, pretty much that about sums up my my craft area. Um, I painted that for my birthday this year. I went with my forever friend. She gifted that for for my birthday. It was one of those sip and draw, and boy did we sip on a yummy wine. And then here's my signs again. All my yarn and uh, all of that stuff is full of stuff. Or on my desk, and there we have it. On the side of this is this metal. I have my tools like punch boards and stuff like that hanging, and on the other side as well of that file cabinet. But there you go. So I think I showed three ways of storing stuff. Or I think I showed more. So there you have it. Thank you so much for stopping by and um, watching my crazy video of how I store things. And I just cleaned my room. So this is how it looks right now. But trust me. When I get crafting and when I get to doing stuff, it's a complete mess. And um, my Golden Girls could attest to that. But um, love and blessings to you always. Bye-bye.